Hello everyone, Sevi here with a quick tutorial for the new Destruction Trinket Calculator for 7.25. First off, this is a read-only file, so we need to go up to the top left-hand corner. We're going to hit File, we're going to make a copy, and we're going to name it whatever we want to. I've gone ahead and named it Personal. So now that we have our very own Trinket Calculator, um, we need to figure out what is this actually here for. Well, first of all, this tool is not meant to replace simming your own character. So why exactly is it here? Well, first off, it is an easier way to read all of the sims in all one place. It also compares two trinkets, so you're not having to sim all combinations of all of your trinkets. Next, it also provides a faster way to ballpark trinkets when you don't have the time to sim at that very moment. So like if you're mid-raid or something like that. It also provides additional information that's not found on my pretty charts. Notice that the eye levels that we can do are between 860 and 955 here. If you look at one of my pretty charts, you'll see that the pretty charts only go from 885 to 955 and are going by every 10 item levels. Anymore and it'd get a little bit too mishmash here and be a lot harder to read. So how do we actually use this calculator? So first off, we're going to be using the drop-down menus. You can see it with little arrows. And we're going to select the number of targets. Uh, then we're going to go for the current trinket and select which current trinket we want to talk about and its eye level. And then we're going to select the comparison trinket and its eye level. And then we're going to it's going to calculate a percent and determine which one's the better trinket. Now, if they're close, like this one is, you want to sim it to, with your own gear to determine if it's an upgrade for you. Some other extra information that you might find helpful is if you go to the math tab. Don't be too scared. There is a lot of numbers here. But uh, this data it actually um, is com pulled from the sim data that is, has been given to me. And it's just compiled into a single location so it might be a little bit easier to read and it is separated by one two and three target um, I would also make sure that you are coming back because this information will be updated whenever changes are made to a spec to make sure that the information is kept relevant you can see the date that the sims were run right here and the day that I updated the calculator right here and also, if you're looking at the lower right-hand corner of the pretty graphs, uh, you'll also see the last day that those were updated. I hope this tutorial has helped, and enjoy!